Chair, uh, Minister, I'd like to ask you about your engagement that you've had with, within your own department and the Department of Housing regarding the Cree Cone Hess scheme. Come on, Minister. Uh, and thank you, um, uh, Deputy O'Sullivan, for raising this uh, matter. Earlier this year, my colleague, the Minister for Housing, Local Government and Heritage, launched the Cree Conaha Fund. The fund is initially focused on supporting refurbishment of vacant homes in regional towns and villages and is a key funding support under the Town Centre First policy, which was jointly developed by my department and the Department of Housing. The publication of Town Centre First was a key deliverable under Our Rural Future. In July, the Department of Housing launched the Vacant Property Refurbishment Grant funded by the Cree Conaha Towns Fund. The grant will benefit those who wish to turn a formerly vacant house or building into their principal private residence. In addition, in September, the Department of Housing launched the Ready to Build scheme, which will make service sites in towns and villages available to potential individual purchasers to build their homes. These sites will be available at a discount on the market value of the site for the building of a property for occupation as the principal private residence of the purchaser. This scheme is also funded under the Cree Conaha Towns Fund. Given that Pathway 4 of Housing for All is intended to support reuse of the existing buildings and the synergy with the Government's Our Rural Future policy, I am pleased to say that it has been decided to extend the Vacant Property Refurbishment Grant to vacant properties in both our cities and rural areas to ensure we are using our existing housing stock to the fullest extent possible. The Department of Housing, Local Government and Heritage expect to have that extension to cities and rural properties in place by November. Thanks, Chair, and it's very welcome to see that it is being extended to, to rural communities. It was probably one of the few criticisms I had in relation to the policy, and it's good to see that both you and Minister O'Brien have responded to that and, and extended it out to, to those rural communities. Um, Minister, if I could just ask you, look, it is a great scheme. It's going to provide you know, incentives for people to bring those properties back in into circulation. Um, but I just have a few questions in relation to um, our interaction, we'll say, with local authorities up to now. Um, I suppose, can you maybe make a statement on the interaction with local authorities, um, how many indications we have up to now, how many numbers of properties we're looking at up to now, um, and also if you could clarify, I know that there's a, um, a condition that if somebody was to avail of the grant and subsequently sell the property um, within five years, I think the state claws back up to 100% of the grant, can you just clarify who actually administers that or who is responsible for that clawback? Gur and uh, thank you, uh, Deputy. Um, the, yeah, uh, this, this scheme is a really good scheme because we all know uh, when we're walking through rural towns and villages, there are derelict houses there, and a bit of, a bit of, a bit of encouragement will bring people back into, into living in the centre of towns and villages. And the fact also that it's extended out out to, to, to rural houses, I think that's a really good idea as well, and I just want to, to acknowledge that. And uh, I know that Minister O'Brien uh, was very committed to that uh, scheme from day one, and him and I had conversations about it, and uh, it's, it's very, very welcome. Uh, we have also published, in terms of our engagement with local authorities, we, we published recently the Town Centre First, and that's a major new policy that aims to tackle vacancy, combat dereliction and breathe new life into our town centres. Town Centre First contains 33 unique actions which will give our towns the tools and resources they need to become more viable and attractive places in which to live, work, visit and run a business. Uh, for the, it's, the policy of course is underpinned by multi-billion euro investments spread across major government schemes such as the Rural Regeneration Development Fund, the Urban Regeneration Development Fund, the Cree Conaha Towns Fund and the Town and Village Scheme. And for the first time, designated towns will gain their own dedicated town regeneration officers, and they are going to be crucial to driving future development. Thanks. Yeah, and that's another question I have subsequent to this one. I think it's number 80, and I'll get on to that in a minute. But just again, Minister, in relation to the administration of it, um, you know, if, if somebody, as I said, avails of the grant and subsequently sells the property, and there is a clawback from the state, like, is that done through revenue? Is it done through via the local authority, what's the vehicle 
to ensure that that clawback is there, I suppose, and that the scheme isn't taken advantage of um, to, to, to the point. Um, and I know that there's a fairly significant budget towards this, but do we have targets in relation to how many applicants we're actually anticipating will avail of it? Um, you know, are there set targets per annum over the next few years, um, or is it literally just on a first come, first serve basis? Thank you, Minister. Um, thank you. Well, the scheme uh, has been rolled out through the Department of Housing uh, uh, to the local authorities, so they are actually administering. The local authorities are administering it on a local uh, at a local level. Uh, I, I'm not sure regarding the clawback, and I think it's right that there should be a clawback. I agree with that principle that if you sell the house on, then uh, the idea is that you will, re, you know, live in the town and uh, to bring that vibrancy into town centres when you have people living in it. Uh, I can't answer you the question, but we'll find that out exactly what happens or, or who's, who is uh, responsible for administering uh, the clawback uh, clause. Uh, and, and that's just one part of what we're doing in rural Ireland, the Creek Conaha scheme. Um, then, uh, under my own department, then we have the town and village renewal, and we have expanded that uh, where you can uh, look for funding on, for bigger projects. Uh, such as up to 500,000. We have done a lot of work there in repurposing old buildings, whether it's old guard stations, whether it's old, uh, uh, whether, uh, uh, old train stations. Uh, there's a number of different uh, projects that have come forward, again, through consultation with communities, asking people, What's, what do you need in your area and how can we make it, uh, how Thanks, can we help Minister. you to realise your vision? 